Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. You can hear a bell ring in a minute. Sorry. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Tim. Hi, Sarah, Rebecca, Christine, Katie, Barbara, Andrew, Lisa, Penelope. Hello. Hi, Livia. Nice to see you. Hi, Beverly, Penelope, Jordi. Thanks for joining me again. It's going to be fun. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be saying goodbye to the autumn leaves. And hopefully, it'll be lovely. I'm so excited. I haven't been here in a while. Hi, Karina. Hi, Sherilyn. Can you hear that? Do -do 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 of the leaves. Uh, sorry, bells, not leaves. This is my um, bag from... This is the bag that I bought when I was in Nabana no Sato, by the way. Peter Rabbit bag. Very cute. Hi. I can't wait to show you around. Less than a minute to go. Ah, so you go on hego.com. Top left corner, it says My Trips. It's top left. And then you can retrospectively sit and review as much as you like um, for any tours that you've been on. Hi, Turquoise. Nice to see you. Nice to see all of you. Thank you so much for coming. I think a smaller group this time. Couldn't sell it to the others, but it's going to be really good. You guys are going to be chuffed, chuffed with your pictures, chuffed British for very satisfied and happy. Hi. Lovely. Hey, got com forward slash chips. Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Kendall James. I think you guys know that. Thumbs up if you've been here on my other tours. Yeah, look, we got Barbara saying third in a row. Nice to see you. So there's got a, an, a helicopter above head. I don't know why. Welcome to Arashiyama. Let me give you your traveling map. Welcome. Here's your traveling map. We are at the top north side of that, but my map is flipped and reversed, the one that's in my pocket, but I don't really need it. We'll go straight line. I just want to make sure I get the right turning for the bamboo forest. Thanks for staying up late, everybody. It's going to be the last viewing of the autumn leaves before they go. So you can see the monkey park in the top. We're going to go all the way down um, in a straight line across that bridge right through the middle of your picture. Okay, so please use it as your traveler's map. That's true. You can just relax, Andrew. You can relax. By the end of the tour, maybe we'll have some different people in here. We'll see because um, the UK is starting to wake up soon. It's 6 a.m., so early birds might be waking up soon. Nice to see you. Hi, Hayward, Lauren, Dahlia. I bet you're sleepy. Let me see if I can wake you up a little bit. Hi, Chelsea. Nice to see you. Okay, ready? We've got a little shrine here. So I'm starting you at the base of the Monkey Mountain. Iwatayama, and I'm going to try and get you lots of gorgeous postcards to really celebrate Kyoto, Arashiyama, Japan, everything. Oh, well done, Barbara. I'm very excited to see those. I'll have a lovely train journey home reading your reviews and things, feeling happy. Isn't this a lovely little shrine? I tried to find the name of it. I couldn't find it, I'm afraid, but I imagine it's called Iwata. Jinja, because the, the mountain is called Iwata Yama, Yama for, um, Yama for mountain. Hello, nice to see you in South Africa, Tess. Hello, Chandra. Thank you very much for posting pictures just now. Ooh, this shrine doesn't get attended very often, does it? At all. It's got lots of these boards that, oh, lovers one tied together. It's got lots of boards that look quite weathered and old, I would say. Hi, Francis. Hi, Beth. Nice to see you. So right at the bottom of the monkey mountain that we just went to, um, because you guys are here early and I want to reward you, um, I'm going to give you some pictures, some extra close-ups of those lovely little monkeys. So here you go. You can have some special extra pictures. Please enjoy. So above this mountain that's 160 meters tall, just a little mountain, um, you can see those monkeys. So that was a great tour just now. Please enjoy those pictures. Try and get you lots of nice te textury postcards. I'm an artist and I love finding the, uh, the textures and um, geometric shapes and things. I'm relieved this is the first day. This is the last day of my holiday. I've had nine days off. And as you guys know, they've not been days off at all. They've been days spent touring around Japan with you guys, giving you guys the best show I can muster. 
and I've been carrying a very heavy rucksack the whole time and I'm very delighted to have popped 400 yen into a locker and left it, left my backpack behind so that I can climb mountains and stuff for you guys instead. Hi Robert, nice to see you. Oh, I hope this bus isn't going to carry a suitcase up here. Oh, thanks, Tess. That was very kind of you. I didn't know you lived in South Africa, by the way. That's pretty cool. I've made friends from South Africa out here in Japan teaching English. So this is a... I'll tell you what I can for around Arashiyama. I'm sure you've been told plenty of time by lovely Atsuko and other guides because this is the most... Well, this is one of the the top tourist locations around Kyoto, this kind of rural area of Arashiyama. It's got lots of incredible spots for all kinds of souvenir-worthy worthy, um, postcards and, and things like that. Let me straighten this out. There we go. It's now Monday. It's Monday here too. Monday here too. So just in case you ever come to see the monkeys here, nice and accessible. Nearest train station is not far. The train stations are super local though. But there you go, 300 yen for children and uh, 600 yen for adults. It opens from 9 till 4, but it says on the website that if you want to feed the monkeys or even see the monkeys, you should probably go and see them before this point. Some people are still going up, but I don't think they've read the website because the website says that the monkeys go and hide and go and sleep from this time. So more for them, more luck for us. Hi TS, hi Tom, hi Julie, hi Elizabeth, nice to see you. Welcome to the Japanese picturesque postcard tour on a gloomy-ish looking day, but I think we'll still do well. You mean in the monkey tour, Penelope? Are you saying the tree trunks looked amazing in the monkey tour? I'm glad that you're, um, you're getting your money's worth regarding looking at those postcards retrospectively. So if anyone's just come in, please feel free to check out the picture that I sent you at the very beginning. It'll give you a map of where we're going to walk. We're going to walk right down through the middle, over the river, over the bridge. The water sounds quite lovely and I'm basically going to stop and get you as many gorgeous pictures as I can. And if you scroll up a little bit as well in the chat, there's also some monkey pictures for you too. But sorry everyone in Canada and America, I think you're up really late for this, aren't you? So thank you very much for joining me. Hi Janita. Hmm, where do I think is going to be the best view? It looks busiest over there. But there's a nice picture over here, I think. There's loads of incredible shops around this area. It's Souvenir Central. They must make a killing. Oh, no yawns, Beverly. I like those yellow longboats. Six tours today for me. One in East Osaka, four in Arashiyama, day till night, and then one tonight. You can come and make Christmas cards with me, but I think all of you in America will be asleep. Thank goodness, you'll need some sleep. Let's see what I can get you. Oh, these are so yummy. This is mochi. I underestimate you. Well, I think you're human after all. Hi, Sarah. We just enjoyed the monkeys. I don't know if you saw. Hi, Joanne. Oh, nice, Karina. Me too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tess says she helped someone clean their house and monkeys broke in and ruined everything. Oh, were you really? Penelope? Ah, uh, for the Christmas card one, New Zealanders will be asleep. I can imagine that. 
Janita, if you scroll up, you can see the um, you can see the monkey pictures I posted just now. Why do you mention booze, Tess? Oh, they didn't touch the booze. No, they're not interested in that. I'm going to have to get myself some dinner after this. I ate some yummy buns because I didn't want the monkeys stealing them out of my pocket. A little bit of wind and a beer. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you're going to find a beer. If you come to Japan, it is the plan. Some very gorgeous architecture around here. And it looks like a perfectly newly pitched roof happening here. And look, a thatched roof, really old style there. And you can get a nice little look at all of the autumn leaves up in the mountains. And we're going to get lovely views over the river in a moment. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. It looks peaceful right now. There's quite a lot of people ahead of me. It's a really, really popular area. It's a bit overcast now, so it's, um, I guess people are winding down a bit. But over this bridge, you can see loads of people. They'll be taking pictures and all sorts. A Japanese fern tree over here. So nice. Oh, and a very tall, what looks like a security car. <laughs> Don't think it is, though. Ooh, lots of people are roasting chestnuts around this time. It's chestnut season, so you can get lots and lots of them. I'm going to get some of our first extra lovely views are coming up. I'm going to cross just over this somewhat zebra crossing like thing. Hi Tina, hi Maria, hi Noach. Sorry if I haven't said it right. Do help me out. They're going to stop. Press and put the baby into the road to make sure the car stops. So it's not a traffic light system that. Yeah, roasted chestnuts just smell so good. I'll get you a view from a different angle in a minute. It'll be even more impressive. Hi, Evie. Nice to see you. Welcome to Arashiyama. Not a blue sky, but I think we're still going to have a lovely time. And the sun should start creeping down be um, behind the clouds by the time we get to the bamboo forest. We're going on a nice walk towards it. And here you can see the lovely oranges and yellows. And some of the trees already have shed all of their leaves. You can see brown blotches in between. Looks like delicious cauliflowers and broccoli to me. Hi, Mariette. Nice to see you. And this is the first time I felt cold outside in a while. Yeah, everybody's been here with Adsquil, which is why I was like, do I do a tour? Do I do it? But um, I figured it's, it's my, my view. I think my postcard shots will be different. And my uh, two previous tours, Adsquil has never done. So the Orgel Museum, the Orgel Museum and the Monkey mountain this is where I was just now I climbed all the way up there for you um yeah they hadn't been done so I thought I did they look more like purple to you they do look like purple don't they a kind of plum color I agree I agree we're gonna see some people with kimonos and things in a moment I can't, I can't really dash over the middle of the road just here but it's also very pretty that way if I see a crossing at the other end I'll cross over let me see what um, Karina has said. She says, I'm a night owl. You can focus on two to four hours of sleep. Me too, but I do prefer as much as I can get. That's amazing, Karina. You must have some impressive kind of mind. Oh, thank you for saying you love my tours regardless. And Notch, thank you very much for following me. I want to get you onto the other side of the road, but just bear with me because I've got to do it safely. Doesn't it look pretty over there? 
So a really popular thing to do along here, I might even buy food on this tour, is to buy a koroke and a beer and come and have a sip next to the river and enjoy the sights, watch people go by. I'll cross on the other side and I'll get you some views over there. Oh, there's police alarm in the background. This is the Togetsukyo Bridge that we're walking over. Centuries old wooden river crossing you can see on your map. That's true, Ray. After Fujiku Highland, I had such a pleasure doing that. Can you believe Fujiku Highland was a week ago? My goodness, I've been all over Japan. Thank you. Actually, my final, or not my final, my second tour, my final tour in Arashiyama is at the Kimono Forest. And next to it is um, Hot Spring for Just Your Feet. Ashi no yu, that means a foot bath. And it's outside and you can enjoy that for 300 yen. I'm wearing tights though, so I'd have to roll down all of my tights and it would look like I was taking off my underwear. But I've no shame, maybe I'll do it. Hi Mag, nice to see you. Right, I'm going to get you to cross over here. Note the girls in their lovely kimonos as we pass. They have lovely lace kimonos and more. It's a really popular area to, uh, to come and dress nicely and enjoy the traditional cultures of Japan. Um, Kyoto is a bit of a powerhouse for that. It's where everybody goes to experience proper, proper, proper Japan. Traditional style, which also means that it's incredibly marketing based. There's uh, a lot of marketing all around here. I want to get you a nice view. One second. I'll get you a view from up on the bridge and then a view down below so you can see what I mean about having a koroke, which is a croquette and a beer. Love the mountains in the distance. I love it. They look like little drawings, paintings. <laughs> Koroke is a croquette, um, a potato, mashed potato thing covered in golden breadcrumbs and deep fried. Super yummy. I've got some money in my pocket, so if I come across one, I'll buy it. And we can, we can eat it together, maybe, or I'll at least break it in half and you can see inside. Actually, lots of, um, yeah, it's a katakana word, katakana. Oh my goodness, sorry, delicious food in the distance. Loads of good mochi, mochi, mochi. Um, katakana is the, one of the Japanese alphabets that involves um, taking foreign loan words, we say loan words from other countries, other languages, and... Um, making, giving them Japanese phonetics, basically. So, croquette, maybe Dutch, yes, Mariet. And then, koroke is how they say it in Japanese. It took me so long to get my mouth around being able to say koroke. And now, it's so fun to say. Here we can see the bridge from the other angle. This is where people like to come and sit and have their koroke and beer. Potato cake! <laughs> is that what you call it, that be? Hi Ben, hi Sherry, nice to see you. Hi Mag. There is a beautiful tree over here. By the way guys, I am so close to 1,800 followers. I'd love, I think I need 10 or 12 people to go click, click, click. But I don't know if you guys are already fans of mine. Thank you TS for the follow. I want to get you a picture of this gorgeous tree. Let's see, that's it. I don't know if I can get it far enough away. One second, maybe I can get it from the other side. Isn't it lovely? Thank you, Sherry. Or Sherry. Let me see it. Oh, there's another good tree. Let me see what I can do. People here are in the way of our perfect view of a lovely tree? That's a good question, Karina. You might not, um, might not get a good answer from me. I could probably get translate out on it and see. 
but it's probably in a kind of script that's a little bit difficult for me to read. Thank you, Janitha. I think I just need 10 more. Look at that. Love the mountains in the distance. Hi, Narelle. It is, isn't it? It is. My friend went somewhere in Amsterdam, I think, recently, and there's a whole avenue of trees that are like this. How don't they fall over? Thank you, Mikey. Thank you, Mag. Maybe eight more. That'd be cool. I'm doing my very best to get myself 2,000 before the end of the year. I'm wondering if I can do that. I've got some more big tours coming, so do look out. Six more. Woo. We'll, we'll ask again in, in a little while. How nice is that? The roots go very deep, very deep. So nice. Okay, let's continue our walk and have a look at the shopping streets, see what kimonos we can spot. I do my best not to let my camera linger on other people's faces or anything too long. Luckily, everyone's got a mask on, so I don't feel like I've invaded their privacy too much. But I do try and be careful. <laughs> this guy is getting a cool shot of his friends sitting out over the mountain. Shashin, turimashouka? <laughs> I don't think anyone really likes to be filmed if they um if they haven't asked to be filmed. And these days, what with so many people putting things on YouTube, I think it's not really a very nice feeling to think that you might suddenly be you might suddenly be on um on YouTube or something. I don't think it's a nice feeling, is it? I try and treat others as I hope to be treated. There's some really unique ice cream things going on inside there. Oh, Janita, thank you. This is um, not exactly like a, a history buff tour or anything. It's a nice look around kind of tour. We've got bringing in the customers. So this is come and collect all of your postcards. But yes, welcome. What did Janita say? First tour ever or first tour with me? Oh, first tour with me. Thank you. Uh, first tour ever. Welcome. Welcome. And the same goes for um, filming inside shops. You really shouldn't be filming inside shops. Some even don't like you do it in the shop windows, but I uh, try and be careful and um, not do things without permission. Lead by example, right? These are really yummy. It's mochi, which is pounded rice but in a lovely strip. It looks a bit like a kitsune fox ear. And then inside, there's usually some kind of yummy, what do I say? Paste. <laughs> yummy paste. But it's pretty. Everything around here is so stylish. Is that what it's called? Yatsuhashi. Yatsuhashi. I eat it like nobody's business. It's so soft. Over here, cheese meat pie. I think there's a Miffy shop on this side. Maybe we could buy ourselves a Miffy bun. Yummy. Yellow shop. Got to have a yellow shop. <laughs> Ponte Luna. Yeah, bean paste. It's yummy. Anko. But also there's other things, sometimes strawberry or chocolate. So I'll maybe turn it to me if I think that I'm going to be showing off other people too much. But I'll give you a little look inside some of the shops as well. Little Shiba Inus. People don't really make space on the streets around here. Ooh, I think I need to get on the left side. I'm not sure. Dango. Yummy. And this classic. Can anyone find the emoji to go with this? It's mochi. So yummy. Baby sake barrels. Bean paste is called anko. Kitty cat cookies. Yeah, nice work, TS. You get bonus points. <laughs> well done. Ah, do you mean it's ice cream inside and mochi outside? That's called yukimi daifuku. Any kind of daifuku is my kind of life. I love daifuku. Let me get you some nice... I love this kind of elevation of different shops. 
Doesn't that look cool? In fact, I need that as a postcard. Can I get a picture? Can I get a screenshot? Yeah, that needs to be drawn. So I'm an artist. I love drawing and sketching and painting. I don't really have time to do all the things I want to do, but one can dream, one can collect and dream. I do my best. Hi, Tina. Now let me show you. These are not frozen in time ice creams. These are models of ice creams. The food models in Japan are really something else. I'm trying to get it without the alcohol spray in the background for you. Aren't they good? They look so real. They look so real. Lots of... So this is quite expensive. But yuzu and ume, yuzu a type of citrus fruit here, and ume a type of uh, plum. But um, craft beers, they're quite expensive, but very nice. The champion in Japan is um, is Asahi, though. Just turn back to me while I walk past lots of these people. So, hi. Thanks very much for joining me. Oh, this is really good. This is like a honey ice cream. Love this. Yep, that's called Yukimi Daifuku. I think he might be about to give me a sample, I wonder. This too, a little expensive, but beyond delicious. It's so good. And earlier on, so they're just they're cutting up roasted chestnuts, ready to give those samples to people. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, green tea. It's the most popular flavor around here. Can you smell them, Penelope? So they're saying these chestnuts are more sweet than the usual ones. Sorry. I just feel very bad if I capture loads of people on my, on my live stream. They're not asking for it. So that's why I switch back to myself sometimes. Look at this. How stylish is this shop? I can't even determine exactly what it's making. It says it's a cafe. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, she saw. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, as you can see from the description of this tour, everybody, oh, nice, Kumonocha tea shop. As you can see from the description of this tour, it's a very laid back tour where we're just going to enjoy the sights and see some of the most, and see, well, the most photographed location in the whole of, um, in the whole of Kyoto's Arashiyama. We're going to see the bamboo grove at the very end. And basically, you're, you're welcome to ask me any questions you like, chat with me, and, you know, ask me about life in Japan if you want to, or just enjoy my, my ramblings. I'm going to try and show you lots of beautiful things along the way. Oops. Like, how nice is this? So good. And these girls have lace kimonos. This is a new trend, wearing these lace kimonos. Actually, um, people, uh, older people do not really like them. This is the more classic style of kimono and obi right in the middle. But um, these days, girls are enjoying wearing lace ones. Gentlemen don't tend to. Um, and, to and they usually wear a kind of fascinator with them. So it looks a little bit like a wedding, a wedding outfit, I think. <laughs> but yeah, they're very cute and they must be very warm. They're not comfortable in the summer, though. Hi Priscilla, nice to see you. So many food shops. It's quintessentially Japanese style food shops around here and souvenirs, omiyage. You're a fan of the fan shop, I'm glad. I'm trying not to be oh, impolite. I got a little bow inside, but try not to be impolite by getting you a full shot. But I can get you a full shot of this sign, so hold on to your horses. Three, two, one. Ta da! There we go. Three, two, one. Nice. So many girls in kimonos. So cute. All clustered together, ready to take pictures with the last of the leaves. This is an example of the lace kimonos. Just going by. And here is the fantastic Miffy shop. Let me get a picture of Miffy down here. I think it might be customers only, but you're going to need this Miffy. It's just too cute. It says, please don't climb. So I'm not going to get my leg up on 
miffy here, but there we go. Let me get you a selfie with the with the miffy. Yay! So cute. No climbing though. <laughs> I'm more miffies everywhere. So cute. Just in case anyone's a big fan, I'll get you a close up of those. So there's loads of miffy food in this shop. There's also Rilakkuma, the relaxing bear. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Mariette. Don't know how to pronounce it. Very cute, yes. Thank you everybody for being here. I'm very pleased that you'd like to um, accompany me on this this journey. I'm getting extra hungry looking at all these food items. But these are the ones to die for. Look at those yummy buns. <laughs> you like animal stickers? No problem, Beverly. Send me a message on Instagram. Nin... Ninja... Oh, I can't pronounce it. Can you make me a phonetic version so I can try and say it? This is bread in the background. It's really good. But it's quite expensive. Nine, 90, 90. Oh, really? Look, sweet potato and chestnut. Yummy. <laughs> How cute is this? There is no end of um, like French, French and Italian desserts and things here in Japan. So cute, right? What's a peep? Peep sounds good. This is the Miffy Sakura Bakery. So Miffy Cherry Blossom Bakery. So cute. So cute. Oh, look at this little teapot and another Miffy. What can I get you? So many people with kimonos on. They look really wonderful around me. Try again not to um, capture too many people. But if we go behind, we can get lovely views. Because the obvious look so nice, even from behind. <laughs> that woman was um, <laughs> grabbing a picture of the girls from the back. Miffy is that uh, white bunny rabbit. Another one of the black and white round-faced creatures that Japan loves so very, very much. Now let me check I'm on track to get you to the bamboo forest, because that's where we're off to. <laughs> Live stream. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous, aren't they? Souvenirs galore around here. Let me take you over this side of the road. We're going to swap and then we get to go to the um, bamboo forest. So an hour tour today. We're halfway through. Thank you very much. And I hope you feel satisfied with the brief of get loads of postcards, see loads of shopping things, have a nice time. Let me get you these pinwheels. It's one of my favorite spots, especially for a little video, but I'm afraid you can't get a video. Can you? I guess you could screen record. <laughs> Thank you, Tess. You can come again. You're welcome to come again for sure. <laughs> oh no problem lovely you've still got the most iconic bit to come so don't worry yeah they're really popular here this is where people come to totally admire um old style japan basically that's why so many people are wearing kimonos too <laughs> where kendall goes everyone flows can you believe it? There's just so much more shopping. Now down over there is the kimono forest. I'm saving that for after. I'm gonna take you to see the kimono forest at night. What can I do? Can I run you over there now? No, I think we'll be too late for the bamboo forest if I run you over there now. Let's go to the bamboo forest. I'm sorry, you'll have to join me on my next tour. 
or check me out on linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James if you want to catch things on Instagram and YouTube and more. You can get the higher quality images on um, on YouTube, of course. Hey, go. It's wonderful, but they just dropped the streaming quality a bit so that we can um, get some speed about the stream. Yeah, dawn is 6:45 a.m. in the UK. I'm from the um, I'm I'm from the UK, so that's where all my family live, and a lot of my friends. My, my friends are from all around the world now, which is really wonderful. Yeah, all of my links in one. Using that. I just love the little views of the houses on the side like this. It reminds me of Studio Ghibli movies. Let's get them, get them out. Bicycles okay, but sweet, huh? I love it. We're on a good side of the street to get some more of those, actually. There's some beautiful temples in the area. Atsuko does many, many tours here, and she really could just continue doing them forever and ever because it's so gorgeous. There's so many things to see, and... The seasons just make it all different again. I'm in Japan now, yes, don't worry. This is not tiny Japan somewhere in England. Look at this, guys, a school trip. Everyone's coming in. Wow. And they've all got pocket money because they've all got souvenirs in their hands. I'm in Japan now. So I'm in Kyoto. I live in, um, I live in Shiga. I, I live in the... Uh, southeast part of Shiga, so it's not too far from Kyoto, but this is out pretty far away from the main hub of Kyoto, so it does take some getting to. It's coming up to evening. It is about 3... let me check, 3.50. Yep, 3.50. We've got 25 more minutes on my tour. Let me get you an overview of this lovely purple structure, kind of plum red burgundy purple colour. But look how many people are here. It's Tourist Central. Yeah, the teacher holds the flag so that everyone knows to follow. It's a good system here. Bamboo Forest, five minutes this way. Nice, let's go. And for anyone who missed it, one second, I've got lots of you here now. Let me show you. Oh, here's the Kimono Forest. So if you're thinking, should I come to my, should you come to my next tour? Yes, you should. That's what it looks like, but there's loads of them. That was a very old picture I took a long time ago. And we're going to see them lit up all at night. So it'll be very beautiful. I've been back to back with tours today. I'm amazing. I've, I'm amazed I've managed to fit them all in. Not I'm amazing. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Nice to see you. Lovely. And here was the view we had out with the monkeys. Lots of pictures there for you again. Some of them are the same ones that you saw if you came in early. Pretty nice we see the lights coming on. Coming up to 4 p.m., but the lights are coming in a, coming on a little bit earlier these days. And here is the Rilakkuma shop. Rilakkuma. It's the relaxing bear. He's so cute, and he has a round face. Got to have the round face. That makes you appealing in Japan if you're an animal. I don't know if round face is cute for, um, for people, though. Collect bears, please zoom in. Okay, I'm going to sneak over the road. A bit naughty. Jaywalking in Japan. J Japanese walking in Japan. Jaywalking. Gosh, they look so yummy. This one for Penelope. I'll get you the big one, don't worry. Yummy chestnuts. Why can't you cross the road? Because she's a jaywalker. Cute. Okay. Spinning it around. He's one of my favorites. Very cute. I don't think I can easily get you the, the kimono one. I'm sorry, lovely. I hope that was satisfactory. I hope it was. And cute. Rira Kuma. Kuma means bear. Here he's got lovely mochi. <laughs> How did you get 25, 25 postcards in 25 seconds? Do one a second. How did you do that? 
The show for them must be adorable. I'm not surprised at all. Not surprised. Are you all having a nice time? I'm pleased to see I've managed to keep your attention. It's kind of been Kendall Day on um, on Hago for the last hours. <laughs> and yet more to come. I filled myself into gaps. We've got um, we've got gourmet cotton candy here. People are queued up to get it. I think it must be really interesting flavours. It's new. I've not seen it before. Okay, okay, okay. Roasted matcha latte. Wow. Sakura milk. Oh, my goodness. A little expensive, but yummy. Amazingly, lots of things that are Japanese are not available on, the, on Japanese Netflix. Plus, my Japanese Netflix got hacked too many times. I'm not giving them my money anymore. It's not worth it. Oh my goodness, Dawn, did you just have, did you have a revolving finger just on the postcard button? Okay, just a little bit more and then we can go to the bamboo forest. This is so delicious. Wagyu beef. Nice. I ate this with my partner when we came here and it was such a good restaurant. It's even beautiful just looking down the gap. Trigger thumb. You must have arthritis now in your in your fingers from hay going. That's all right, lovely Prissy. Can you remind me? Oh, Priscilla. Sorry, Priscilla. Where are you? My goodness, that was a slip of the tongue. Sorry, Priscilla. <laughs> where are you? I can't remember. London. Oh my goodness. Could I have just read? Could I have just used my eyes and read that? I got PTSD from a. From another voyager's name, sorry guys. <laughs> One second, just go up high so avoid everyone's faces. There we go. Oh, that made my heart flutter. <laughs> There's just too many gorgeous views everywhere. So you're just gonna have to be satisfied with the ones that you're getting. But I'm looking all around me like, ah, oh, I wanna stop, I wanna show them that, I wanna show them that. Let's just go to the promised bamboo forest. I couldn't find a koroke. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe that's why they're special. I think they use some kind of powder to make them different flavors. We've got Snoopy over here, and we're coming up to where the Orgel Museum is, so you can see how far I've been walking backwards and forwards to the different points today. Again, another round-faced black and white cutie. That's Snoopy. Japan loves them. I guess you can, if you post them online, you can have a character set here. Snoopy, Miffy, Rilakuma. Candy floss is what I call it. Cotton candy. I understand both together. The same with, um, what was it? Let me turn back to me. There's a lot of people around. The same with uh, ropeway and cable car. Okay, I think this is going to take me down to the, um, one second, let me give you a, let me give you a look at this little comic book. You can read the comic book and then I'll, uh, yes, going the right direction. It's going to be busy down here, guys. It's all right, we've got full signal. I'm hungry, but I still don't think a friend should eat the head of, off your chocolate bunny. Hmm, true. Wiser words have never been said. Wow. I can't say wow and not show you, can I? It's all kinds of sweet potato foods. But I'm sorry. I don't want to. Oh, I'm beef tongue, I'm mochi. I don't want to capture all of the people. I just feel too bad. I showed the Orgel Museum outside at the beginning of the tour, Tina. You'll have to be, it's a little bit further ahead. I can't keep to my schedule if I, if I go and do that now. So you'll have to be satisfied with the high resolution photograph that I send you later. How would that be? Would that suit you? 
but thank you for asking. I'll always do my best to comply with requests um, if I'm able, but yes, time will not permit that in this instance. Sorry, but I got a photo of outside and I'll be making a little YouTube video, just a short one, but he played some ballerinas for me at the end. So we got to see, well, I got to see ballerinas. It's going to look really dark in there. I think the light will shine through, I hope. Hi Gwen. We're stepping into the most photographed area of Arashiyama. We're stepping into the forest of bamboos. But it's neither light nor dark, so it's quite interesting. Let me see if I can get you some nice postcards. Lovely, thanks. Teamwork. Dreamwork. So much bamboo. So Japanese people actually love eating bamboo shoots. Take is bamboo. Takenoko is a baby bamboo. It means bamboo shoots, and in the springtime they pick them if they're under one foot tall, and then they they eat them. Usually, very simply, just boiled in a stock nabe style. Lovely. Me too, maybe. Twice. But yeah, it's busy. Yeah, some places never get old. I'll try and get you some interesting pictures in a second. Just avoiding all the people. But look, doggies! Three, two, one. <laughs> Power cables going right through it. Three, two, one. So many bamboos. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting a gentleman to be right behind me. The most beautiful one is just around the corner. Yeah, sometimes there's nobody, but... It's red leaf season, which means that everyone's coming to see Arashiyama in general. So it's busy. I've been here with virtually no one here as well. I don't know if they like bamboo. I bet they like bamboo shoots though. Look at this. I'm going to show you something. No, there's no red. Well, you're going to see some in a minute. But the red leaves, this is in the area, Tina. So people come to Arashiyama to see the red leaves. And then they might as well come to the most photographed spot in um, Arashiyama. This is all it takes in Japan to stop people crossing a barrier. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> in the UK, that would be kicked to so many sides. So basically, we can normally go through this little bit, but they're having a special rickshaw style, maybe photo shoot. The barrier is amazing, isn't it? it Japan turns you into a different type of person, Andrew. You'll be a law abiding citizen if you came here, you'll be a whole new person. <laughs> it would have been it would have been so kicked to the side we've got more lovely views coming so stick with me lots of nice things to see thank you everybody for joining me let's fling you around sorry blurry little fling sorry about that <laughs> the little girl's giving a picture of the hints of the yellow leaves up there Totally desirable, all the little bits. They look like stars, actually. 
So that's the Jay Walker. I'm in Japan. That's Japan walking. I'm just Japan walking. <laughs> Someone just take it or not notice. Yeah, it could be easily not noticed for sure. There's a train track over here. I love the train track sounds as the as the train comes through and the barrier is on. One second. I'll take you through that in a moment. I'll take you up to see the shrine. I think I can do that. Just promised bamboo. Priscilla, thank you, lovely. What should I do? Should I take you? I know. Shrine first or after? Let's go shrine after. Shrine after. I think I can finish up at the shrine. So I've got to run to my next tour after. Oh, you don't really want to get caught in Japan crossing the road at the wrong time, but I usually go by, if I see other people doing it, they're going to get in trouble first. <laughs> Hi, Anna. The birds are having a good old screech, aren't they? I think I'll take you... Oh, Sorry, gosh, shocked myself. I think I'll take you to the shrine next. Let me walk just a little bit further. There are many strange bird noises, yeah. Who's to say it's not a monkey? Who knows? Could be a monkey. Ah. I think our main bamboo point is yet to come. I might be wrong. I wonder if someone else is doing it. What have I missed, Sarah? Someone else is doing what? Too many people. Bear with me. Just put it to myself to save the privacy of the other people. No problem, thank you for staying for a little while, Penelope. Yeah, the rule generally is, if you're in your own town or city, it's kind of okay to do it. But if you're um, in someone else's, don't get caught doing it. You'll get lots of strange, dirty looks. So the main beautiful bamboo forest is yet to come. Shrine off the cards. All right, Dad. <laughs> There's this one they really don't want you to go up, do they? There's a lot of no-no signs up there. Okay, sorry for swinging around. Coming up to the most beautiful part of the bamboo forest. That, believe it or not, was the messy part of it. We've got the beautiful bit coming. I reckon there'll be a lot more people. No bears in this particular area, but if you go into the woods today, you will. <laughs> if you go, if you go camping around Japan, you have to carry a bear, a bear bell with you, so that no bears get you. It goes ding, 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 and stops the stops the um, bears from coming near you. Cemetery with no. No trespassing. I was like, what does that say? Teresa passing. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Gregory. Good morning. Well done for getting a little bit of sleep. Gregory's come in for the money shot. Nice to see you. Oh. 
very beautiful, well-organized graves here around Japan. They look very lovely, I think. Right, just going to change it to me because there's a lot of people coming and I don't want to be disrespectful. So sorry if you're bored of seeing my face. Your favorite, the goddess of compassion, right? Some people don't like it, but it depends what context they think of it in. I suppose. Okay. Well, there's a nice temple down here. We're not going in that one today. I bet Atiko's taking you, though. Or will. You collect pictures of them, too. I hope you can add that one to your picture. Okay, here's the special bamboo forest. A kind of different atmosphere, even with lots of people in it. There's another school, school group coming. A little slope for this one. Three, two, one. You see, much more perfect. Three, two, one. <laughs> Gorgeous, right? And I can avoid all the people by angling the camera up. It's quite cold in this section. Well, after the first time I said it, Andrew, I did look it up online to check that there definitely was two meanings. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Well, nobody's here. We've got a moment with nobody. Uh, I think I've climbed enough today but still enough to be more D oh don't dawn <laughs> well know that I mean the nice meaning if you do it's so lovely right Everyone's trying to get their perfect picture. Three, two, one. Hi, Konmaki. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm quite shocked by the amount of people around Arashiyama and in Japan these days that are speaking just plain English and they're not even putting one Japanese word in. I'm really surprised. There's a Japanese word, sumimasen. Just means excuse me or I'm sorry. Just something that's a gesture of being polite. And people don't use it. They're just speaking English. Birds are really going for it. Eight, two, one. Sorry, I swung you around. And again, we've got a bit of a people free view. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, there's no power cable in this one. Three, two, one. It's nice, isn't it? So I want to thank you all for joining my tours. I can't believe how to time I have been. We just got two minutes left of this one. 
Have I got to pace it all the way back to where I was to start with, almost, to go and see the kimono forest. So I hope that you'll join me and see the night fall. And I hope that you'll leave me some nice reviews for this because it'll encourage me to come back at different times of day, different seasons and all sorts. So please review heartily, tip if you're able, sponsor if you like. I look forward to seeing you at my future tours. It's 30 minutes. Oh my God, pressure's on. Pressure's on. <laughs> Got to get myself there in 30 minutes. Okay, sorry, spinning you around. Hold on. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Three, two, one. Yeah, close those eyes for a spell. I'll see what angles I can get you on the kimono forest. Three, two, one. A cat nap. I actually swear by them these days. So everybody, this is the kimono forest for later. This is a map of the Horarashiyama area. We've walked about from north to south on that, or I have. It's been really lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you've had a really wonderful time. Are you all sleeping? No problem. Thank you too. The signal isn't very nice in this very this very moment. Well, thank you very much from Crouching Tiger, Crouching Kendall, Hidden Bamboo. See you later. See you in 30 minutes, apparently. Just going to go and charge this phone. No problem. Thanks, Malcolm. I look forward to your reviews. Please don't forget, it does bring a lot of joy to us guides. Okay, lovelies. Bye. Bye.